The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Weight of God's Wrath. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53, verse 6. In the garden of Gethsemane, Christ suffered in man's stead, and the human nature of the Son of God staggered under the terrible horror of the guilt of sin, until from his pale and quivering lips was forced the agonizing cry, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. But if there is no other way by which the salvation of fallen man may be accomplished, then, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Matthew 26, verse 39. The power that inflicted retributive justice upon man's substitute and surety was the power that sustained and upheld the suffering one under the tremendous weight of the wrath that would have fallen upon a sinful world. Christ was suffering the death that was pronounced upon the transgressors of God's law. It is a fearful thing for the unrepenting sinner to fall into the hands of the living God. This is proved by the history of the destruction of the old world by a flood, by the record of the fire which fell down from heaven and destroyed the inhabitants of Sodom. But never was this proved to so great an extent as in the agony of Christ, when he bore the wrath of God for a sinful world. Man has not been made a sin barrier, and he will never know the horror of the curse of sin which the Savior bore. No sorrow can bear any comparison with the sorrow of him upon whom the wrath of God fell with overwhelming force. Human nature can endure but a limited amount of test and trial. The finite can only endure the finite measure, and human nature succumbs. But the nature of Christ had a greater capacity for suffering, for the human existed in the divine nature, and created a capacity for suffering to endure that which resulted from the sins of a lost world. The agony which Christ endure broadens, deepens, and gives a more extended conception of the character of sin and the character of the retribution which God will bring upon those who continue in sin. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ.